Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Devin and today I'm going to be showing you guys another freezer meal prep with me video. So I've already filmed two of these. I did a breakfast edition and another lunch slash dinner one before this and this is my last one um, because I just filmed so many and cooked so much so I had to split those up into two. Um, and so I wanted to go ahead and show you guys all of the other meals that I made. So there's so many delicious things on here. Super easy, affordable, pretty healthy and just really easy to store in the freezer and reheat um, because I am currently pregnant with my first baby and so my husband and I want to try and take things a little bit easy after he gets here and um, I thought that having some meals in the freezer to just quickly heat up will really really help. Just one less thing that I'll have to worry about and I can just really take in all the newborn bliss. So I really loved how all these recipes turned out. I'll make sure to have them all linked down below. I go step by step in this video of how I made it, how I prepared it, and all that good stuff. And I'm so excited to eat them whenever he gets here because they all look so so good. You can see I am very very pregnant and I uh, was glad that I got this over with. I filmed these last week. Um, and so I'm just filming the intro for it right now. And so I'm really excited how it all turned out. Glad that it's done. And I can just focus on nesting the rest of my house. If you guys enjoy these videos, make sure to give a thumbs up so I know. And make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future ones because I have a ton of good videos coming your way. You can also follow me on Instagram, which is Life by Devin. And you can see a little bit more up to date of what's going on in my life and when this baby's gonna get here. So make sure to have the previous two videos that I filmed linked down below if you wanna watch those first. But if you guys wanna see all the videos that I made today in this video, then just keep watching. All right, starting off, this was one of my husband's favorites that I made. This enchilada casserole is delish and so easy. So I'm going to start off with a pan, spraying it with nonstick spray and adding in my ground beef. I'm just using organic grass-fed beef. It's like a little over a pound. And now I'm also going to be chopping up a small onion. Just finely chopped is fine. So we'll do that, put that aside, and just basically cook the meat um, until it is brown. Now that the onion is chopped, I'm gonna go ahead and break up my meat so that it can cook evenly. So some other ingredients that you'll need are two cans of red enchilada sauce, a can of green chilies, and black beans. And I'm just taking my little automatic can opener and getting those all open. And I'll also drain those black beans. The meat is almost done cooking, so I'm going to go ahead and add in that onion as it finishes up getting away the pink. Now you're going to add in some minced garlic, and just an FYI, I'll have all these ingredients and measurements in the recipes linked down below in the description box. So we'll go ahead and add some of that and mix it all together. And you're gonna add some more spices. Here I have some chili powder and cumin, and then I'll also add some salt and pepper. Now you're gonna add a little bit of that enchilada sauce just to help it get all nice and mixed together. And then we'll add that can of green chilies and the drained can of black beans, and again, mix it all together. Now I'm taking this little foiled container. I got this from the Dollar Tree in a pack of two. And you'll also need some corn tortillas and some cheddar cheese. And so now we're gonna layer it all up. You're gonna start off with some of the enchilada sauce. Then you'll lay down some of your corn tortillas. I sort of broke them up to make sure that the surface was covered. Obviously in a messy way, it does not matter. You're just gonna eat it. And then we'll go in with a layer of that meat mixture. A layer of cheese you can definitely add more but we don't like a ton of cheese then more enchilada sauce then more tortilla and you're gonna repeat so that's what you'll do until it gets filled up to the top and you'll finish it with cheese
So now you're going to want to go ahead and cover that up. I use a layer of plastic wrap and then foil and that helps prevent freezer burn, um, which nobody likes. So after you do that, you can go ahead and write with a Sharpie instructions for reheating, which for this um, you can basically de-thaw or thaw overnight and then cook for like 30 to 35 minutes on 350 um, or just a lot longer from frozen. And that is meal number one. Now we're doing the shepherd's pie. We're going to start off with the potatoes. You can use any potatoes that you want. I'm just using these creamer potatoes from Costco. Um, they come with red and gold and I'm just pulling out the gold so the color can be consistent. And for these you don't even have to peel um, the skin because they're so creamy. Um, so I'm just cutting them in half and putting them in a pot of water. And you can see I have it on high and I'm going to keep that on until it's boiling and until the potatoes are tender. You can usually just test that with a knife and if it can go in smoothly, then they are good to go. I also added some salt to that water. Now moving on to the beef. Um, you can use turkey for this recipe as well. I'm just grabbing a pan, putting some nonstick spray, putting in the organic grass-fed beef, and gonna brown that. You can see the potatoes are done, so I'm going and draining those real quick, adding them back into the pan, and putting in some butter, salt, and pepper. Gonna let that butter melt. And I'm just grounding that beef up so it can cook more thoroughly. Now to the potatoes, you're gonna add some milk. I am using some oat milk because we don't really have dairy milk a lot in the house. And as long as it's not vanilla, guys, <laughs> this is just normal oat milk. Um, the vanilla will make it taste very weird. So I'm just mashing that all up. You can see it's getting nice and creamy and you can add some more salt and pepper to the taste of your liking. Now I'm gonna go ahead and chop up an onion and I'm going to be adding that to the ground beef. Once those onions are added and mixed together, you'll go ahead and add in some minced garlic and your veggies. So these are the organic mixed vegetables from Costco. So they have peas and carrots and corn and green beans. So just mix that all together and we're gonna add in some tomato paste, um, about a tablespoon or so. Um, I'm just using my can opener. Once again, I love that thing. Um, I'll have it linked down below. If you guys don't have an electric one, it's way better than a manual one. <laughs> so go ahead and put that paste in and now you're gonna add in some organic vegetable stock um, or broth. And so just add in a little bit. It really helps um, get that tomato paste um, and additional spices mixed in. I'm also adding some Worcestershire sauce, some rosemary, some parsley, and just gonna give that a good mix as well. Now it's time to assemble the shepherd's pie. So you're gonna put in that entire meat mixture to the bottom, and then you're going to add in your potatoes to the top. So just go ahead and put them all in the middle and then spread them out to the corners. That's what I find to be the easiest. And then you can go ahead and add cheese to that on the top. Again, you can add a lot more cheese, but we just add a little bit. Once that's done, you can go ahead and cover it just like we did with the enchilada casserole with a layer of plastic wrap and a layer of foil. And the heating instructions are just about the same as the casserole as well. Okay, so we're going to start off with the pan, spraying it with nonstick spray and adding in some sesame oil, which is a must for this recipe. Then we're gonna add in that ground beef and we're gonna brown it per usual. Mm -hmm. 
While that is browning, I'm going to go ahead and just make a batch of rice to freeze. So just use whatever rice you want and uh, cook it according to the package instructions. So um, I'm going to go ahead and just make a little bit of this on the side. Um, that way it will be easy to reheat once the baby's here. While that's continuing to cook, I'm going to go ahead and take my onion and chop that up. And you're actually not going to add this directly to the pan right now. We're going to add this to a sauce. So make sure you chop it up and put it to the side. Now you're going to go ahead and start off with that sauce. Um, we're going to start off with a lot of soy sauce. I finished up one container and had to open up another one. You're going to add in those onions and then some minced garlic as well as some minced ginger, which you can also do like freshly grated one. Uh, that would be really good. And then some crushed red pepper and some brown sugar, which adds a lot of necessary sweetness to the dish. It's seriously so good. So mix that all together and then you're gonna add that to the pan once the meat is done cooking. Mix that all together until it gets nice and bubbly to get thickened a little bit and that is all done. So the rice you can see is finished so I'm gonna add that to a bag separately. And to reheat this, it just takes like one or two minutes in the microwave, you just like add a little bit of water and it's done. So really, really nice. Um, and then we're gonna do the same thing, just add that meat mixture to another separate Ziploc bag. And all you have to do for this one is just thaw it overnight in the refrigerator and then you can just heat it up. You can literally just do the rice um, in the bowl with this over it and put it in the microwave. And it's so, so simple. You can top it with some sesame seeds, some chopped up green onion, and also add some additional vegetables if you wanna just like reheat some like steamed broccoli or something like that. So this was so, so yummy. Another one of my favorites for my husband. Now we're going to do just some ground beef for tacos as well as some cilantro lime rice. So same thing, just cook the rice according to its package. I wish I had a rice cooker because that would make my life a lot easier. Um, and yeah, maybe one day I'll get one. Um, and then we're just going to go ahead and cook some ground beef once again in that pan with nonstick spray and you'll need some salsa or um, just normal tomato sauce and um, some garlic powder chili powder cumin and oregano and of course salt and pepper I'm gonna take half of an onion and just go ahead and chop that up and we'll add that to the pan and just break up that meat and just brown it just like you normally would Once that is done cooking, I'm going to go ahead and add in all of those seasonings as well as the salsa and mix it all together. And that is a super easy and simple ground beef recipe. Um, it's like my favorite um, and I never buy a packet anymore. It just turns out so, so good. So go ahead and mix that together, cool it off, and we can add it to our Ziploc bag like we have with everything else. And we ended up serving this with just some crunchy taco shells and all the yummy taco toppings. It was so good. And then of course we had it with a side of cilantro lime rice. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to make that in just a second. So I put that beef aside, took that rice, gonna add some salt and some pepper, and you're gonna take a fresh lime and just squeeze the juice out of that, um, both of the sides. And then you're gonna add in your cilantro. You don't need a ton um, for it to add a lot of flavor, so I'm just breaking it up with my fingers and finishing off this other cilantro that we had. 
um, and then you're going to mix that all together you can also add some garlic for some additional flavor and it's like the easiest cilantro lime rice and I think it's just better than normal rice when you're having a Mexican dish so we're gonna go ahead and put that into its own Ziploc bag as well and same thing for reheating this you can do this in the microwave with a little bit of water and for the ground beef, you can just thaw that overnight in the fridge and reheat like in a microwave. And that is our final meal for this video. All right guys, that brings us to the end of this freezer meal prep with me video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Again, I'll have all the recipes linked down below. Again, very easy, simple, fast, affordable all that good stuff. So I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram. I'd greatly appreciate it. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.